Hey guys, Jengar here. Welcome to today's realistic review in which we are taking a look at the SB2U3 sitting at 1.7 battle rating. This is the new American dive bomber that was added in patch 1.75 and it's quite a nice plane. I mean the flight performance is lacking but uh, you can make it work as I'll show you in this dogfight. <laughs> But um, let's take a look at the plane, shall we? The maximum speed in this plane is 330 kilometers an hour at sea level. Uh, that is not very good. And 270 kilometers an hour at 4,500 meters. Now that's quite a drop. And I wish you good luck reaching 6,500 meters. I didn't manage it. I got stuck at about 5,800 meters where uh, I couldn't get any higher. Well, it went very slowly and I just thought let's uh, let's do something else right so I started diving and test some other things but uh, yeah so I have no speed for you on 6500 meters but uh, you're gonna bet it's very very slow I had already dropped below 200 kilometers an hour to climb at any rate a stall speed in this plane is quite nice with 140 kilometers an hour and here we go for the killing shot on the Heinkel 112 thank you sir goodbye <laughs> the control stiffening in this plane is quite atrocious starting from 400 plus kilometers an hour it really starts to stiffen up there and it's just basically a brick then a falling brick I barely managed to get out of the of the dive that I was in um, in the test flight firepower in this plane is very good uh, 1.7 battle rating remember that it has 450 cals in the wings 400 rounds per gun I used a stealth belt in this thing and a 600 meter convergence and that worked quite well for me. The ammo load is excellent, as I said 400 rounds per gun, it's really fantastic for this plane. You can ground pound with it or you can go after fighters, help people that are in trouble and stuff like that. Acceleration in the plane, as you may imagine, is quite bad in a straight line, in a dive it's no more than average. Energy retention in the horizontal is bad. And in the vertical is atrocious. <laughs> Seriously, don't take this plane into the vertical too much because you will bleed speed like a maniac. The climb rate in the plane is very, very bad to atrocious. It, it is just a pain in the ass to get up the altitude. Reaching 4,500 meters took me a long, long time. And to 6,500 meters, well, like I said, it's, uh, it's a fantasy. That plane doesn't want to go there. <laughs> The turn time in the plane is average, I mean as you saw in the turn fight against the Heinkel 112 it was uh, not fantastic but uh, I mean I managed to uh, outmaneuver again, so um, it's average. The flaps don't rip, they basically function the same as the air brakes, uh, if you uh, have the flaps down you can't put the air brakes down, but if you put the air brakes down they, sh they show the uh, exact same thing as the flaps, so I guess they have the, uh, they share a function. <laughs> Um, and they are they are pretty good. They really stop the plane. They hold the plane. You you can go into you can put your nose down and you don't gain any speed whatsoever. The roll rate in the plane is is pretty bad, especially compared to fighters. I guess for such a, a heavy dive bomber, it is it is decent, well average. Let me say average. But the roll rate is bad compared to anything you face. Maneuverability, except bombers. Maneuverability in the plane overall is bad. Uh, as you may imagine and the overheating it does happen but it is not really an issue it cools down pretty quickly once you get off web durability in the plane is all right can take a hit or two but uh, a good sustained burst will definitely kill you now here I lose control of my mouse there was a hair under my mouse and I was not able to uh, yeah there we gain control back I was very angry because this was exactly in the attack run of the F1 in his last 600 meters. And uh, yeah, he gets a good shot on us because of it. And we cannot finish this fight, unfortunately. Look how we land this plane, it's just lovely. <laughs> oh dear. But uh, yeah, we got, uh, we got killed there. Five ground targets and two air kills. Pretty nice. Although that last uh, air kill was also a ground kill, I guess. <laughs> In this one, and this is basically what uh, this plane is very very good at, especially at this battle rating, 1.7 battle rating, 
This thing is the ideal bomber hunter. You start uh, with a bomber spawn and um, well I mean the guys in this level often don't use the fa most fantastic bomber tactics. They just fly straight on towards the targets. Well and if you place yourself in between uh, your bases and uh, the approaching bombers you will get a good opportunities to, uh, to kill the bombers. And uh, I tried that out a few times and it goes pretty nicely. So after the JU-87 we take out this uh, S-81 as well, which has no frontal gunners. Only uh, two uh, gunners towards the back. Here we go for the other one. Now the angle here is very steep for this guy. I don't think he can fire at me yet here. So we're gonna repeat this a few times. We're gonna go up and down and up and down until we get him. And like I said, the acceleration in this plane is quite bad, so you really gotta go down a little bit to catch back some speed. And uh, to gain back enough speed to climb. <laughs> we do get a crit there, that's quite nice. And we killed both gunners by now, which is awesome. No danger from this guy anymore. You have a good ammo load like I said and that will serve you well against these kind of guys. Because I do want to get this guy. One more time, let's go. And then we go for some ground pounding. Come on. Yes, we can do it. Come on. Yes, and there he finally goes. Damage the left wing spars. Basically killing him. Now I uh, dropped my bombs there but I kind of missed and I still have my 500 pounder here. But we're also gonna miss that. Terrible. Could have been a much better match than uh, than it was. I should have gotten let's say uh, at least five extra ground targets there. But so are we all make four hits, four hits on the uh, on the 500 pounder. <laughs> Brilliant. Just between this light tank and uh, and those other targets, hitting nothing. Unfortunate. The timer is running out though. We killed the enemy team as the last enemy was killed. Three air targets destroyed, three ground targets, and one assist. Well, not bad. Not bad for a bit of uh, dive bombing, let's say. Rewards are final blow, mission maker. That's a nice one. The Terror of the Sky and Bulletproof. We've got 21,000 Silver Alliance and 1,300, almost 1,400 research points. I'll see you in the conclusion. Hey guys, so here we are after the match. Now this is quite a nice addition to the American Early Attacker 3. Nice dive bomber this is. 450 cals with 400 rounds per gun is something that I could not uh, let lay and not, uh, not fly at least once. That was quite nice. The other one only has two 7.7 and, and sits at um, 1.3. I'm not going to fly that one out. That is uh, is going to be more generic uh, stuff. But this one has 450 cals. This is interesting. This plane can do some good. You can go bomber hunting. You can face fighters. You can defend yourself. Good firepower on a 1.7 plane. You have bombs. You're versatile. Uh, yeah, this plane is fun. And um, I had some, uh, some good results in it. I'm actually running... Uh, Five kills and two deaths in it with five matches and some old ball 19 round targets I believe quite nice and uh, yeah all in all I'd say that this plane is excellent worthy of your time and if you're in the beginning of the tree and you like ground pounding then this is something to consider even putting a talisman on I would say if you don't have a premium because um, yeah this 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 uh, plane packs a punch and it's not the best flight model uh, you're very limited, but um, like I said, you have bombs, you have the 50 cals. You can uh, net in a lot of silver lions and uh, research points. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Become part of this community. If you are already a subscriber, don't forget to like the video. Do leave me a comment. And if you really feel like helping out today, 
make sure to share the video with your friends and let them know about the channel.